Good morning, good evening. Not sure what time it is for you, but either way, you're here because you're trying to pass the encore, like the title of the video says. So I recently passed mine and I've been getting a lot of questions online and at work about, you know, how did you pass? How was it taking it at home? Things like that. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my experience and give you some tips that can help you pass the exam also. First thing I'll say is the at home experience was uh, pretty smooth. The worst part is you'll sign up and your test time will come and you'll go to the site and you'll log in. You gotta send them a bunch of pictures. So you send them you know, a picture of your work area this way, to the left, to the right, behind. Then you take a selfie and the selfie is the one that's on your exam printout, by the way. So uh, if you care about that, take a good one. But um, after that, uh, you'll have to sit there at your computer for, I, I sat there for at least I think like 15 literal minutes while they reviewed it. So that, that that's kind of the worst part because you're sitting there um, just waiting with, with no, no timer or anything. But I use that time to kind of calm down, you know, meditate if you will, and, you know, mentally prepare and just think about passing, see myself passing. So a lot of people talk about anxiety with these exams, they're timed. That brings me to another point. I've always been a fast multiple choice test taker but I finished with plenty of time on the clock. So I feel like 120 minutes, I think it is, um, to take the the amount of questions they give you is pretty good because some of them you're gonna answer right away. Some of them you gotta think, but I think it's a lot of time. So moving on, the other thing that you can do to make sure you pass is know the exam objectives. Download the PDF, save it, come here, put this on your favorites all the time. Um, and, and know the objectives because I feel like these distributions that you see here are a fair representation of the amount of the questions you're going to get. Because I was trying to hurry up and pass, I did study the heavier ones more, especially right before taking it. Now, you don't want to take a certification just to get a certification. You don't want to pass just to pass and not really get the knowledge. But this particular exam is surprisingly, to me at least, high level. You do have to know how to, you know, do different things like in here. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, ACLs. Like you need to know how to read and, uh, you know, interpret an ACL. You don't have to do necessarily any actual configurations, but you need to be able to look at one and know what it's going to do and how you can change it. Um, so that being said, because the exam is so high level, I was, um, you know, I just wanted to get it out of the way, if you will, and now I can go deep into labbing, deep into study for either finishing the CCMP or going straight to CCIE, which is what I'm I'm actually going to do is probably just go straight towards CCIE. So I'm telling you this because don't get too hung up, uh, you know, pushing the exam back or, or trying to do this and trying to do that. Just have a base level understanding of each little bullet point on here. Be able to talk about it. Be aware of it. Um, a lot of people are scared about the wireless and the, the software to find stuff, the SD-WAN and SD-Access. They're not asking you deep nitty gritty about how to configure it. Same thing with Python and JSON and things like that, REST API, automation. You just need to be aware of these things and be able to talk about them. So in a lot of ways, I felt like it was like a vocabulary test. And to that sense, I started using flashcards. So there are certain terms you're going to have to remember you know about which which automation tools are agentless or agent based um you know which northbound southbound api all these kind of things just make some flashcards with the term and the definition and be able to you know pass the test i use quizlet for that that was great um in terms of the bulk of my material and this is really one of the most important parts was the official certification guide I actually don't have it on hand. I should have had it here, but I don't. I'll put a link to the certification guide in the description. That book is all you need. A lot of people don't like reading those. Um, I understand everybody learns different, but they really go. Um, I, and sometimes I think they go uh, out, out of scope, too in depth. But like I said, you're not taking a cert just to take a cert. You're, you're trying to build up a foundation of knowledge. So it's good to be exposed to that in advance. So when you go into the advanced routing for the, for the CCMP or finishing up with the CCIE or something like that, it's good 
that you've been pre-exposed to that. So the, the certification guide is more than enough that then you need to, um, in terms of material, it covers everything and it covers everything perfectly well enough. I've seen some stuff online. There are some typos in it, but if you're reading this level of material, you probably have the ability to, you know, pick out a typo and it's, it'll actually make you feel good. You say, hey, wait a minute, this is a mistake and I feel good because I know to recognize that. And I mean, it is what it is. Um, we're humans, my friend. So nobody's nobody's perfect. So I'm, I really don't fold the book um, that much for it as I've seen some people do online. Um, also, while I was reading the book, I did take hand hand notes. It's almost a almost an entire notebook here filled up. Um, do I know every everything I wrote in here? No, not really. But I I think when you write it by hand, um, it just kind of helps put it in your brain a little bit more. I know a lot of people say they like to write it by hand and then copy it into the one note or the word or whatever you use on the computer to take notes. I feel like if you just go straight to typing like you're not really reading and you're not really taking the notes so you don't really retain too much of anything but everybody's different that was just my little tip um outside of that um boson boson uh really really great practice test this as well as the pearson one i think the pearson one is a little bit more challenging than the boson but they're both very good representations of the type the the layout the style um, the wording, all those kind of things. Everything that you know Bozen for, if you know Bozen from the CCNA, can't say enough good about it. So that being said, this is kind of where you can find that. You just search that up, Bozen Encore Practice Test. Pause this, write this down. I don't know if this is still good or not. I've been seeing this is a guy from Bozen himself going around giving this discount code on Reddit. So I don't know if it's still good or if it's not, but it doesn't hurt to try. So there's that. Um, there's that, uh, just, a, I don't know why I would lie to you on the video, but I did pass. Uh, there's my little, my little cert. It's cool. Um, also, last thing, last little plug here. If you go to my website, agray.tech, I got a lab on there. It's a uh, packet tracer because you know, everybody uses either even G or viral or whatever. Everybody can get packet tracer. This can do enough. Um, th this is, this is a great lab. You just put your name and email in here. I'll put a link to this in the description. Uh, I got a lot of really great feedback on this um, from my colleagues at work and people on Reddit. Basically, uh, you have these routers here that are going to do EIGRP. Then you'll build a GRE tunnel from this router to that one. Do some multi-area OSPF, uh, DHCP helper this way, a little bit of static routing. Uh, you, you get a lot of practice out of this lab. So... Um, and also, I'm going to be sharing, as I go further in the CCIE studies, I'm going to be sharing more labs, more write-ups, just what I'm learning along the way. So I also like to just talk about networking all day, every day. So you can send me an email, reply, ask me questions or whatever, looking to start study groups, things like that. So um, come to the site, you know, get on the email list. It's no spam. I'm not trying to sell anything on the email list no signups or anything like that. I'm just trying to push out information to people who actually want it and who actually use it. So that's my little bit of advice on how you can pass the Encore. Aside from that, just be in the right state of mind, you know, have faith in yourself, be positive, all that fun stuff. Um, and don't don't push it off. It's not as hard as it, as it looks from, from just the objectives. It's a very high level test. Um, you just need to be aware of these of these things most of them um if you can look at each one of these things and say yeah i know a little something about that i can talk about that you're probably good to go to pass do that read the cert guide take the pearson test that comes with the cert guide if you buy the book get the boson i guarantee you'll pass on the first try so you know subscribe whatever like drop a comment let me know how your tests went and uh i'll see you in the next one thanks